I can hear footsteps of some kind. It's a doggy. And we're gonna have to kill this. Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. In the last part, we got quite a lot done. We got all the masks that were needed for him to be used in the crypt. And they called down this big coffin and inside was a zombie. We killed it and then we got um, this item. Which is the stone and metal object. And we put it inside the door. That's below, That's at the bottom of the, um, the hall underneath the stairs. And we need two of them. But if you look at the back of it... Um, if you turn it around, you can see there's like a little shape, a square shape on the back of it. And I remember seeing this outside where there was a there was a hole in the wall with this shape in it. So we're going to head towards there and see if we can put that um, that stone metal object inside there and open up another door. Now I believe it was downstairs. So we're going to go through these doors and make our way through the corridors. I think this might be where... All the zombies jump through the windows as well, so we've got to be pretty careful making our way through here. We might have to shoot some of them, just to get them out of the way. If we can hear anything, we'll know there's danger ahead. Here we go, there's a zombie right there. Is there enough space here to get around him? There might be some space if we bring him over. Because we want to save as much ammo as we can. And it does seem that when you kill zombies and you leave them, when you come back later on, they are like super zombies. So if he can come towards us, like in this corner, maybe if he reaches for us, we'll get around it. Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> now there's got to be more ahead of us, I think. Just gotta be careful the camera angles. Here we go. So we can get... Oh god, this is gonna be tricky. It's kind of... Oh no, I was trying to see if I can push him out the way and go around him. Because when zombies are behind you, it is a bit easier to get past them. When you're behind zombies, I mean. So hopefully it should be this door now and then one more door to go through. And that should lead us outside to where we can use this new emblem. So let's get behind the zombie quickly. There we go. Which I think the outdoors outdoor door is here. Yes. So this stone and metal object now, we should be able to use it outside. Put it in a hole in the wall and hopefully it will open up a door. Right, the hole in the wall is right here. If we get the item, use it. We've taken quite a bit of damage there as well, so we could do with finding some herbs. So it fits. So we've done the right thing there. This door is most likely unlocked now. Could do with having some herbs. I should have brought some for the journey, but I um, just didn't think. So this looks like a pretty protected area. Okay, there's some first aid spray there. That is really good. Can we reach it? It seems to be quite far, like... Oh, there we go. Let's come down these stairs. No, I didn't even click on the door. I didn't even know, even know there was the door there. So let's go back inside. <laughs> There's a um, battery pack as well to pick up there. So we'll get the f assorted pots and toolbox. Yep, get the first aid kit, please. Here we go. The first aid spray. I think we'll use this because it's not like yellow caution. It's gone orange, so it's one away from being like in danger. So we're just gonna use it. It's gonna heal us to full. I'm going to get this battery pack. There's some shotgun shells on the ground there as well, which is really convenient for the weapon that we're holding. Take the shotgun shells. Yes, please. Now let's check out what's over this side. What about this door? Okay, this door opens as well. We'll check this one out first, and then when we've explored around here, we'll come back to the one that's down the stairs. I can hear footsteps of some kind. There's a doggy. And um, we're gonna have to kill this. Okay. Shotgun. Dog just take a shotgun to the face. Sounds like there's another one coming as well. This isn't good. Ah, no. I think we might have killed one. Hopefully, if this dog doesn't kill us, we can finish him off. <laughs> 
That should be the dog's dead. I'm not hearing any more noises. So if we move forward, looks like there's a healing herb there on the ground. Uh, green herb. Our, our health is completely red now. The blue herb. What does the blue herb do? Okay, so the blue herb apparently cures poison. We could do with finding a red one really and combining it with the green just to get a full heal. Because if we just use the green one, it won't heal us to full. Maybe for now, if we just um, hope that we don't encounter any enemies. If we do encounter an enemy, we can just open up the inventory and heal quickly. So we kill the dogs, that's a good thing. Um, okay, so there's loads of places here that we're exploring for the first time. So there's going to be quite a few enemies in our face. There's a ladder there into the water. It looks like we might have to drain the water first. What have we got here? There's a square shaped hole here. Yeah, so we need to find like a lever to put in there. I'm sure that's probably going to um, open up a dam and empty the water. So we'll head back. There was another, there was a hole as well, wasn't there? That we just looked at. So we come around here. What do we have here? Let's look at this. Can't really inspect it, there's nothing to be done there. So we maybe have to go somewhere else and call up an, an elevator. Um, nah, let's check out those that door that was down the stairs in here. It seems like you don't use the stun, bat, stun aim gun on the dogs when they attack you. I think you do use the knife, you know, the, the defensive item. So um, let's go through here. Hopefully not too many dogs. It's hard to kill a dog without taking any damage. You've got to be like, a bit lucky with how, how he jumps at you. Okay, so this looks a bit spooky. We're in the proper outdoors now, so, you know, anything can happen. Why is that spinning around? There's a switch here, press it. Oh my god, should I? Yes. It points east. Are two dogs. Freed. Oh, a free-headed dog, okay. There's a switch here, press it. Um, let's just leave it for the moment. Maybe if we come down the path, we'll see the, the statue and we can kind of figure out what we're meant to do with that. Okay. So we need to figure out like some kind of puzzle with this. Can we go for the gate? The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. What do they desire? Um... Let's look at these. A statue with blue eyes. The inscription reads, The Last Gasps of Destruction. Huh. A statue with red eyes. The inscription reads, The War Cry of Revenge. So revenge would sound like to me that it wants to face this dog to have revenge on it. Um. So this one, The Last Gasps of Destruction. So I think we should turn the blue one maybe to maybe the gate because the gate's a bit destroyed i have no idea i'm just trying to think of like what would make sense so let's get the blue one let's turn it so he's turned towards the gate oh, he's turned away does it turn it 180 every time maybe it does let me stress it again Do you have the time when you press the X button to uh, make it land on a certain direction, I wonder? So when you press it, it comes off of it, starts spinning again. Now if I want to make it go to east, I press it when it gets to the E. Okay, it's going a bit fast now. Yeah, it's, it starts where you press it, so you've got to time it yourself. So if we leave that now, like he's looking at the broken gate, he's looking at revenge. Is that going to do anything? Just gonna look around, see if there's anything else we can um, look at. Any other clues? Hang on, wait there. There's a signpost here. Um, it seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North Valley of the Okay, destruction, cave, cave of hatred, summit of madness, path of revenge. So west is revenge. North is destruction. 
remember that. No off destruction. Which one was which though? <laughs> um, so this one needs to be facing west, I think, because it's revenge. And the other one needs to face north for destruction. He's facing east at the moment. Slow down, please. So that's north. Here we go. And that did it. Yeah. As long as you look around, you can pretty much sort of figure out puzzles and what they're meant to mean. So the gate's now unlocked. Um, I'm not expecting any friendly faces beyond here. I'm a bit worried. Okay, there's crows. Crows can hit. So if, I, if, if we start getting look like we're going to get attacked, I'm going to have to heal. Hopefully, just stay on the far side of the fence with the crows. We don't want to get killed by a crow, do we? Alright. Something on a chain. So, um. There's a statue on the left here. Can I look at it? Doesn't seem I can even look at it. Just don't kill me, please, wherever you are. <laughs> that was quite a loud groan if it's this far away, isn't it? Okay, here's a house. Um, oh, there's a nice there's healing cave there. That's really good. So I think what I'll do here is because we've only got we've only got green ones here, we'll combine three of them, and that will heal you to full health. So yeah, just do that now. Yay, full health. Okay, so we'll feel a bit safer now. We can move without holding our hip. Um, I just want to check on the this side as well. This looks like there's a hole in the wall. Jill just walks through some cane logs right there. So, let's check around the house before we go inside. I don't even know if you can. It doesn't look like we can, actually. Yeah, okay, let's go inside the man the, um, the cabin. Not don't know what I'm looking for in here. I'm just It's a new place to go to, isn't it? So, anything inside? Hello, anybody home? Uh, uh, um... It's not going to be all... Okay, there's a fire in here. So this is like, recently been lit. So someone's like, active in here. This firewood looks fresh. Yes, that's exactly what I just said, pretty much. Can we check out any items? Like, any to pick up? A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? Brown stains? Like, poop. Okay, there's some um, something on the wall there. There's a map of the courtyard. Take it, yes. Okay, so now it's un unlocked the uh, the map. I didn't even check the map while we were here. So um, we've we've got quite a lot of things um, from all the. It's all it's all green. Looks like there's another key we can get though to unlock some of the doors. There's a typewriter here. A crude bed. It looks like no one used it in a long time. Um, I think there was a typewriter there, wasn't there? Somewhere. Where's the camera? There it is. Okay, a family picture. There's a journal left by someone. Daddy attached first, mom attached sec, sec sconed. Was that a typo? Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom, where? Don't know, it's a little girl wrote this. Don't know, dad, found mom again. When attached, mommy, she moved up no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, there, I miss you. Okay, so this is messed up. <laughs> um, was that a typewriter there? It looked like that's a typewriter, right? Yeah. If I had an ink ribbon, I could, ribbon, ribbon, I could save my progress. So I'm guessing there's going to be some ink ribbons lying around. It's probably going to be inside the chest, to be honest. So um, if we open up the chest, probably could. If I would have known the chest would have been here, I could have saved those green herbs. 
instead of combining all three of them. Actually, we've got quite a lot of herbs, so it's not no worries. Let's put this one in there, um, and let's just. What should we do? I think I'm gonna save. All right, guys, I just saved. I'm gonna continue now. I've got a shotgun, ammo, and my um, first aid spray because I feel like there's some danger ahead right here. So we're gonna jump down this gap. I don't really know where we're going. Okay, there's the um, the lever that we were looking for to lower the dam, the crank. It looks like that's all we can do in this hole. So we're gonna jump back up after making our way all the way back through the graveyard. Um, and someone has come in. Didn't sound like a zombie, because he opened the door and closed it. And, okay, maybe it's a zombie. Holy shit. <laughs> huh? That's not a normal zombie. He would have just bit me, ate me alive, wouldn't he? He knocked me out. He had intentions. So that's a bit strange. Who the hell is this guy? Well, maybe he's got no jaw. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kill him. Can he be killed? The camera angles in this building are terrible. Okay, he could be dead now. Seems like he is. I can't aim at him anymore, and he's doing some kind of weird thing. It was like a water monster. Okay, now he's getting up. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do here is going to reload the save. Um, simply because... I don't want to waste the ammo on a guy that I'm not going to kill. You know, if I can just run past him now, instead, it'll be a lot better. Okay, guys, here we are again. We're waking up. The guy is going to come towards us. Hopefully, we can just run past him and just get out the cabin. And um, head towards the dam and uh, empty the water. Hopefully there's enough room in this cabin to get around him. Oh, he hit me in the back of the head. That's going to cause some damage. Alright, one hit. That was, that's not bad. Hopefully he doesn't hit too hard. Let's check our health. Yeah, he took us down to yellow. That's not, that's not too bad. Okay, so I just need to run down this path, go past where all the crows are. There's something that we haven't picked up where all the crows are as well, so... Okay, we can hear zombies now as well. Oh my god, I just came back to where I was. Didn't I? I think I did. Don't know how I did that, I think the camera angle must have confused me. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Where am I going? I need to push up this direction. Ah, there we go. It's different. There's two paths leading to the cabin. Yeah, there's a zombie right there. Hey, how you doing? Get past you, thank you. Yeah, okay. We're heading in the right direction. Sounds like there's another zombie somewhere. They're getting quite loud now. So, the crows are here. I'm going to check to see if there's anything flashing that we can pick up. I mean, I don't want to get too close to the crows, because I feel like they might attack me. Actually, wait, there's a path leading through these. So let's go through it. Here we go, the crows are coming at me. Alright, there's some car something carved into the in indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. So it's like pause plus and equals <laughs> almost could it be some kind of symbol okay so on this one yeah, the crow is about to jump on my head there there's something written on the indentation when the wind sweeps across the earth stars will okay i need to find things then that can fit in there i think i've got the wind one actually i've got something in the chest i can use in one of these so hopefully we don't need to find too many things so for now we're going to head over to the dam and uh, empty the water So hopefully the dogs are all dead now. We did kill two dogs in here. Hopefully no more come. 
Now, if we go up these stairs and through this gate, this is where the dam is. And here we are. So let's open up the inventory, use the crank. There we go. That looks like the cutscene that was used in the first game. You know, the graphics don't look that great. So we've unlocked a new area there. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Sweet. Okay, so... Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. So, uh, yeah, in the next part, we're going to go down this ladder, of course, and check out what we've unlocked. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.